G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden and I want to show you my awesome survival trellis garden currently growing snake beans. It's absolutely going bonkers. It's doing fantastic in this really crazy hot humid weather that we've got and growing in season the right plants at the right time and using vertical space is one way we can get more food on the kitchen table right at times when we need it. You've got to admit, times are tough. We need to get more food on the table to save money and prepare for what's coming ahead. So I've currently created four different vertical garden spaces and three of them involve worm farming systems inside to produce my own fertilizer and biology and to really breed healthy plants will grow healthy plants for what i believe is uh possibly even tough times tougher times coming ahead now i'm out here vlogging in my yard and i know this isn't a very wide shot um, and i'll work on getting uh the cameras better for this but hey i really enjoy coming out here and showing you guys and i've got an amazing backyard right now you can see why i've probably you can see probably why i've got uh, grasshopper problem. Can you see that uh, behind there? This is the back paddock. Now, if I zoom in, you might hear a bit of sound, but there's cows right over there at the moment. And these guys, well, they need to get in here and mow, and I think they're like a bit stressed because it's getting a bit high up. But no, this is my backyard. And it's absolutely stunning. I love coming down here in the morning and looking at this. So I just wanted to share that. But let's get back to the raised garden beds because with the vertical systems, I just had to hop down from the from the chair there. And I'll give you a look at the garden a little bit while we're heading in that direction. We've got a nice big guava here. Now this Shirley's waiting for this to fruit, and it's not far off to tell you the truth. Oh, they're very, very close. They're just cherry, cherry guavas, and if I get a better shot on them here, you can see the tree is absolutely just loaded full of them. And I've got to cut this tree back because it's growing in on my papayas, and right over there, my first papaya that I planted is getting sort of overthrown by the guava tree it's loving all the nutrients here and we've got papaya there's a mandarin here down there is the comfrey planted between the papaya and the mandarin is something i spoke about in a recent video so go check that out if you want to learn about companion planting and putting them in around your fruit trees and perennial systems great permaculture garden system uh, plant to use off here we've got sort of native foods got some papaya, there's some peach, there's some Australian lemon myrtle in the back there. We've got a macadamia and right through here you're probably wondering, Marty, why are all these pumpkins here? Well it has created a, a bit of a problem. Um, one would be there's the grasshoppers can hide but we do have pumpkins in here and so that's one of our, one of my survival crops that I'm testing. I'm trying to grow some things on the fence with passion fruit coming up over here. Another avocado sort of over here and when we move over here and it's covered in grasshoppers all the time I come over here and shake it to get the grasshoppers off now they're all hiding because it's raining at the moment pumpkin vines are climbing all over everything even up the fence how's that for a Japanese pumpkin up the fence you can see a bee in here my bees the bees have been very quiet this season He's in there doing some pollinating. It's exactly what we want. We want these bees coming back. We've got some more survival food here. Moringa. And this is really for nutritional benefits. I put one, put some in my lentil pie yesterday that I made. And it's possibly one of the most nut highest nutritional plants. That's the right word. Uh, on the planet, so they tell me. I'm not a nutritionist, but just from what I read and watch and you know, it's growing like crazy now. Look at it. It's just like right up there. We can cut it back and it will just keep going on. We've got some natives and things through uh, the yard here. And these are just to bring little birds in. 
and bring uh, you know um you know finches and things like that and other nectar pollinating birds that like to feed and the miners and the australian noisy miner we've got a lily pilly here syzygium resilience which uh just finished flowering and will have fruit for us very soon and uh, i quite, quite like eating those we sort of move down through to the front and here we've got can you guess it yeah it's a mulberry all right let's keep going down we'll keep moving through and show you down the front yard before it starts raining really hard um, this is a bit tricky vlogging like this i've got another gopro that i just bought recently and we'll be able to do a better vlogging system like this going through and then we've got our local little cat louie louie hello louie louie hello he lives down the road he talks to me hello louie hey go buddy you scared of the camera hey don't be scared of the camera you go hide under the car you like it under there all right so we're moving through to the front trellis garden system it's starting to rain so we will head inside pretty soon just wanted to give you a quick look at this show you how i've built it so we've got the sticks coming up the side so these are just tomato stakes we've sort of twined them all together and put worm farms underneath so we've got a self fertilizing system composting system and we have two of those and underneath we've got beans growing here so more beans these are the dwarf beans and the reason why i've got them in first is i want the food and i also want those nitrogenous nodules in there so when i harvest the plants if i harvest them early we'll just leave the old root systems down there we've got a few little flowers appearing so that's good which means we're going to have beans i'm going to have more beans than i know what to do we've seen so we've got snake beans and these ones got to find ways to uh, preserve these and go for there and these are sub pods but you can make your own diy systems and I do have an educational one of how to build a big DIY one out of a compost bin, a tumbler, in my Worm Wranglers members area, level three. And so we're trying to grow some chard in summer underneath the shade. We've got some a dwarf, a dwarf tomato here called Special Prize growing under here. And some lettuce, yeah, a bit of grass and stuff popping up. Got to get in here and fix all that. So it's starting to rain. I'm going to get on the veranda over here. We'll look back. Whew. So there we go. Bit of a vlog for you guys, sort of around the front yard. I live in a beautiful little street, and I really love it here. And I enjoy being here, living with my family. We've got lots of flowers and things around as well to attract pollinating insects. And to look really nice, they're just marigolds over there. And then over here, more papayas, some lemongrass. And different things as you go through here so there's some dragon fruit over there going up the tree as we go back sorry about the noise on that bird bath so the birds can come in and and uh, feel comfortable more at home there's some bay trees there chilies tomatoes over there and over here this is my composting system with large worm farms at right at the back and uh, yeah this is where i sell uh, my compost from which uh, I'm not doing that much this month with it. We're working really in here uh, on the channel. I will be going out and getting some more, sorting out the compost uh, as soon as it stops raining and get back on the program. So anyway, if you love the little vlog, walking around the yard here, and yeah, it's just something, something a bit different for you all. Keep watching the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel and keep this running, you can do so via links down in the description at the Buy Me A Coffee page. It's around about $5 for a donation, or you can go monthly around about the same price. Plus, if you're buying a coffee, I think, it's still around 5 bucks, is it? Anyway, love to have you over there helping us keep this thing going, keeping it running. And uh, I'll say goodbye to this vlog now, and we'll try and get the GoPro up and running so we can do better walk-arounds and really change it up for you guys all right have a great day happy everything oh it's starting to rain now beautiful beautiful look at that look at that oh lovely we recorded this just in the nick of time didn't we <laughs> all right done up all the garden now 
and really, really good for the compost and the worms over there because they'll get them a bit dry. All right, see you guys. Bye for now. See you at the next video. And uh, yeah, leave any comments down below, any questions that you may have. See ya.